Hello, my name is Audrey and welcome to my channel. If you are new to the channel, thank you for joining me today. I hope that you hear something that is inspiring, that motivates you, and that pushes you to change. I'd like to thank all of my subscribers, those of you who have subscribed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To those of you who have left comments, emails, text, and just called me to tell me how much you're enjoying the content, I really want to thank you. To those who have given love gifts, I thank you. And I pray that God would open up heaven and shower down blessings upon you and your family. Today, I am going to talk about a word that I, or phrase that I've been hearing around. It's called the new normal. And no, it is not the new normal to me. I'm just going to speak for me today. It is not normal to wear a mask every time I leave my house, when I get in my van, when I go to the shopping center, when I go anywhere. It is not normal to wear a mask everywhere I go. So I refuse to adopt that phrase, this is the new normal. When I first got my mask, I put it on and it was so comical because as soon as I put it on and it covered up my nose, it, it was out a little bit. So my glasses fogged up and I could not see. So I started laughing hysterically and I said, oh my gosh, I will never get used to this. I'm not trying to get used to this because to me, normal is something that you do that is pleasurable. Something is a something that's an everyday occurrence. Like it's normal for me to wake up every day and see the brightness of the day, whether it be raining, snowing, sleeting, hailing like the other day. It is normal for me to be able to see outside the light and everything. It is normal for me at nighttime for it to get dark I know that when evening is coming, now that it's in the summer, the hour is a little bit later, maybe around 7.30ish, 8 o'clock, it gets a, starts getting a little bit darker. That's normal. It is normal for me to eat every day. It is normal for me to smile every day and be happy. It is normal for me to see my grandchildren, hug them and kiss them. It is not normal to go out every day and have to keep six feet dif distance between me and the next person. It is not normal for me to go to the supermarket and see arrows that I got to follow because I don't want to get too close to anyone. It is not normal to be unable to hug people, show affection, love on people. That's not normal for me. Now, I know there's people who are kind of standoffish and there's people who aren't huggers and everything, but I'm a hugger and I like to hug people. So this is not normal. And I will not adopt that phrase. This is the new normal. No, it isn't. If you came home one day and your dog was in the kitchen cooking your dinner, that would not be normal. It would be an, a phenomena. It, it would be something I would take pictures and send, post it on Facebook and send it to someone because obviously I have a dog that is skilled beyond other canine breed. But to come home and see him cooking would not be normal. And there is no way that I would someday say, oh, it's normal. This is the new normal, him cooking me dinner every night. Oh, uh, no, I don't want a dog cooking me dinner every night. Just like I don't want to wear a mask every day when I go out. So I think sometimes we adopt things because everyone else is doing it. It seems chic. It seems new. It seems... uh uh, classy, whatever the case may be, but we adopt it thinking we'll fit in, thinking that, oh, I have the new lingo. I remember years ago, my son uh, ran over my foot with a toy or something, and he said, my bad, and I said, excuse me, my bad? What? That's no ownership of what you have done. So saying my bad doesn't show me that you are sorry or that you feel remorse for something that you may have done. But that was the catchphrase then, my bad. When I was coming up, when we greeted people, we would say peace. Then I uh, years passed and people say, yo, what's up? And then people used to call my man, this my man. Even men were calling their best friends, this my man, this my man. So there's many phrases and things that have come up. 
people adopt them for whatever reason. This is a phrase that I will not adopt. This is not the new normal for me. When I thought about this, I said, well, I think the new normal should be that now that COVID has come, you pray more. That should have been your normal, but now that it wasn't, and now that dire circumstances has arisen, have arisen, and now you find the need to pray every day. You find the need to pick up your Bible every day. You feel the need to call and communicate with people who you can't visit or see anymore. So now that should be the new normal. The new normal should be, well, I used to work all the time. I never had time for my family. I was always working, working two and three jobs, coming home tired, not talking to anyone, just eating, going to my room, shutting the world out. Well, the new normal should be that you're making phone calls, you're making video calls. Uh, Facebook has this wonderful feature, my goodness, where you can put the background. And so I've had hours of enjoyment with my family and with my grandchildren doing the different backgrounds and pretending we're in different places. But it gives us the interaction that we're missing right now. I get to see their faces. I get to blow them kisses. So the new normal should be that now I reach out to my family more. Now that I've had time off, those of us who are not first responders, those of us who are not working in grocery stores or the retail businesses that are allowed to be open right now, we thank God for you all. Thank God for you all going out and standing all day with your face mask on. That is not normal. I worked retail and I can't imagine having to have stood there all day with a mask on. So don't say this is the new normal. No, the new normal is we're getting ready to come up out of this. The new normal is God has already fixed this. We just have to get ourselves into that day when we don't have to wear a mask anymore. The new normal is I can praise him in my house. I can praise and worship him in my house now that the buildings are shut down, the church is still going forward. The work of the Lord is still going forward. That's the new norm. The new norm is finding ways to do things that you couldn't do before. If you were sitting up and you didn't have time to write your book, I keep saying this in all my videos, if you didn't have time to communicate with loved ones, if you didn't have time to sit up and come up with that new invention. Now you have time. Take this time and make having time for yourself the new normal. The new normal is I didn't take care of my body before, but now I'm walking, I'm running, I'm exercising. That should be the new normal. Before, I wasn't praying every day. I wasn't fasting. I wasn't reading my Bible. But now, the new norm is I read my Bible every day. I study. I go to the online Bible study. Whatever it is that is positive, make that your new normal. And then the last thing I'm going to say about the new normal is I refuse to accept something that a group of people have deemed a valid phrase. My Bible says that we should speak those things that be not as though they were. So even though I don't see outside where I can go and walk freely without a mask, even though I can't hug everybody like I used to, even though I do have to wear a mask inside, I'm speaking those things that be not as though they were. So that's my new normal. My new normal is speaking life over people. My new normal is using my gifts, talents, and abilities to create something new that will help humanity. That's the new normal. Coming up with ideas and things, not a catchphrase that is negative in its connotation. No, this is not the new normal. I'm going to touch on something the Spirit is dropping in my heart right now. It is not normal to come home and have your husband beat you. Ladies, men, it is not normal to come home and ignore your families and shut yourself off. That's not normal. And you can't make that normal. You can't say, well, this is how things always happen and just accept something just because that's someone else's normal. Make your normal normal. Make it pleasant. Make it something that gives you joy. 
Make your new normal something that validates you as a human being and then validate someone else. Make your new normal coming up with ways to help someone else and to make this world a better place. Let that be the new normal instead of the new normal is wearing masks, distancing, not hugging, not being able to fellowship. Not No, let's change this thing around. And let's make the new normal something positive and something good. I love you all so much. I told you all in the last video, now I have a love spotlight. Last video, it was my grandson, Aaron. And today, the way this works now is the first person who views my video. I will shout you out. I will shout out your business, your church. If it's your birthday, your anniversary, I will shout that out as well. And I will acknowledge the fact that you were my first viewer as my way of thanking you for when that little notification came. And again, I say, if you have not hit that subscribe button, hit the subscribe button so that you can come back and join me for some other great videos. Today's spotlight is on Mr. Alan Hale. And I wanna thank you, Mr. Hale, for being the first viewer on my last video. Mr. Hale is the founder of the Hale Foundation. And the purpose and mission of this foundation is to eradicate social and economic disparities among the disenfranchised individuals and communities. Mr. Hale and his foundation have provided job training, employment, housing. They are doing a mighty, mighty work in this community. If you would like to get more information about the Hale Foundation, it is spelled H-A-I-L-E, Hale Foundation, at mail.com. You can email them, or if you would like to write them, you can write the Hale Foundation, 8843 Greenbelt Road, Suite 159, and that is Greenbelt, Maryland, 20770. Again, thank you, Mr. Hale, so much. So now, as encouragement for the rest of you all, if you would like to hear your business again, your anniversary birthday, your church, something, a great event that you may have coming up, be my first viewer, and I will make sure to shout you out. Thank you all again for joining me. I love you all, as I said. And always, as to, I do on every video, to my G-babies, I love you all so much. They are my greatest supporters. I love you all, and I will see you on the next video.